Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we got a fun one. We're going to learn Drive My Car by The Beatles from the Rubber Soul album. Uh, this was a lot of fun to play. So we're going to start here. Uh, we're going to do it note for note. We're going to take care of the solo and all that good stuff. So let's start with this intro, of course. <laughs> So, a little bluesy thing. We're going to start with this uh, seventh fret on the D string to the five on the G. Slight, a little quick little shift on the blues note there, the eighth fret on the G string down to the seventh fret. Back to that five and back down to the seven. All right, th then you're going to play the sixth fret there on the B string with a slight bend. Kind of a slide bend. All right, now we have some double stops. We have the fifth fret on the B and the G string. And then the same thing at the uh, seventh fret. So, it, so the fives once, twice on the seven. Back to the five. And to the seventh fret on the D string. Then back to the two fives and the sevens. And that is the intro. Then we have uh, the riff that just kind of moves all around that is played during the verse. It's something like this. So that's fun. We have a fifth fret there on the A string. So you're gonna hit it real quick before you do the slide from seven to nine to the seven on the D, and then slide back down nine to seven on the A string to the fifth fret. So we have this. Then we're gonna do the same lick here, but starting at this third fret on the low E string. Just repeat back between the two. So yeah, after you've done that uh, two or three times, then it goes to the uh, fifth fret here, and that little we're gonna kind of. Slide from seven to nine on the low E string to seven on the A. Pull nine to seven over to nine on the A, on the low E. So it's a little bit different. So all together. takes us into the chorus. All right, so a lot going on there. Just we're going to start with this B minor chord, bar chord at the 7th fret. To G7 chord at the third fret. So still full bar. It's just like a major chord. Just pick up your little finger. Do that again. One more time. So you're here at the uh, the third time you're playing the B minor. Instead of going to the G7 now, you go to this little bass line. So it's low E open. Two, three, so zero, two, three on the low E string. 
back to the low E open. So we have this 0, 2, 3, 0, then over to the open A string, then 3, 2, 0 in the low E. So we have this. Then you're going to jump up here to the 5th fret here. So that right here is, depending on what part of the song, they'll stop there or they'll, they'll play through it. So it goes to the 5th fret here on the A string. It always does this, which is just, it's just hammering 5 to 7 on the low E over to 5 on the A, then sliding 7 to 5 on the low E down to the 3rd fret. So that's coming out of it. And then up to the 5th fret. Now here's where it'll stop sometimes with these little beep beeps or whatever, or Roadrunner part. Or we can just... So we're just... Uh, it's the same lick that took us into the chorus is basically all it was. So sometimes I'll do that and then go back into the verse. Alright, so it's very similar to that. Now underneath the guitar solo, which we're going to learn in a second, um, it, he's just doing this. So when they're doing that little... So there's a little slight difference there. It's the same thing as the verse. First half, and then the second half. Instead of coming straight back down, he goes... Which is the exact same thing we did there, going into the chorus here. It's there. So, you'll hear that underneath the guitar solo. Alright, so, uh, just bear with me here. We have one more part before I check out the guitar solo, and that's going to be the very ending little beep beeps uh, at the end of the song. Just kind of rotates between this. So that's just kind of hanging out here on the fifth fret here on the A string. You've done, done, done the force, so hammer five to seven, over to five on the uh, A, slide down to five, and then the third fret, and then up to the kind of same like that takes us to the chorus every time. So just rotate between those two parts at the, at the end of the song. It's just repeating these two. So now let's get to that guitar solo. It's a little bit tricky. Let me play through it real quick for you. All right, so that last little melody line in there is actually done with a slide, a little bottleneck slide, which I don't have. So. We're just going to be uh, playing it just normal, but you can just use a slide if you want to grab it and maybe do the solo with have a slide on your little finger or something. But we're going to start here with a... So this is a little bit tricky. There's a lot of little pre-bends and stuff. We're going to start on the 7th fret on the D string and then start bending the 5th fret downwards on the G string and then play the 7th fret there on the G. Then as you're doing that, jump up to the 8th fret on the high E string, holst that bend, then over to the 7th fret on the G string, and here you're going to have to play the 7th fret on the G, and then a pre-bend whole step at the 8th fret on the B, and release it. Yeah, it's tricky. All right, so here, is the ending is what's different between each part. So that was just kind of three, uh, eight, three times, then six, eight. So that's the first inning. Then the same thing again. Except here we go. The last note is now the seventh fret on the G instead of coming back to this eight. And then again, 
kind of the same as the second time. And then you start that melody, which is done with a slide, which just starts at the 5th fret, the high E string to 8, to 10, to 12, 8, 10. And as soon as they get to that note, they're starting the chorus again. All right, so it's a great one. It's really fun to play. You know, everybody loves it. So uh, I had to get my Beatles fix in. I haven't done a Beatles song in like a week. All right, so I'll see you guys again soon for guitarlessons365.com. Bye-bye.